If you suffer from tinnitus, you're not alone. More than one third of adults are affected by tinnitus at some point in their lives. Tinnitus is when you hear a sound when there's no external sound present. Many people describe it as a ringing or buzzing sound, but it's different for everyone. For many, this is just a minor disturbance, but for others, it can be quite debilitating. This short video explains some of the mechanisms that are thought to cause tinnitus and some simple steps you can take to alleviate your tinnitus today. The nerves that carry sound from our ears to our brain are never really resting. There's always some low level activity going on. Usually we don't hear this activity because there are so many other sounds around us that drown out this internal noise, even in seemingly quiet situations. Things like the whir of your fridge, the hum of fluorescent lights, or the drone of distant traffic. Tinnitus is more common in people who have hearing loss because if they don't wear hearing aids, they're often missing out on these sounds that mask out their nerves' internal noise. When the brain doesn't receive as much sound as it used to from the ears, it tries to compensate by essentially listening harder. And this is why it's more likely to pick up this internal noise. If you experience tinnitus and you have a hearing loss, hearing aids can actually help by replacing the internal sounds of your nerves with real sounds from the outside world. Hearing tinnitus for the first time can be worrying for many people. If your tinnitus bothers you, this can actually make you more likely to notice it because your brain sees it as a potential threat. And the more you notice it, the more worried you can get. There are a number of approaches to try to break this cycle. The two main approaches to dealing with tinnitus are to make the tinnitus less noticeable and to try to reduce your stress response to it. There are many devices and apps these days that have various calming sounds designed to make tinnitus less noticeable. When listening to these sounds, it's important not to completely drown out your tinnitus. You still want to be able to hear it a little so that your brain can start to learn that it's nothing to worry about. Over time, you may notice that you don't need as much volume to have the same calming effect. This is a great tactic for those who find that tinnitus disturbs them from getting to sleep. Reducing your stress response to tinnitus is usually done through overall stress management and relaxation techniques, like meditation and deep breathing. Alcohol, caffeine, and some medications can also trigger tinnitus, so talk to your doctor about whether these might be affecting you. Your GP may refer you to an ear, nose and throat specialist to check if there are any underlying medical causes for your tinnitus. You can also discuss it with one of our audiologists who all have specialised training in managing tinnitus. Call us or drop into your closest centre to discuss your options.